Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. In this video you will learn about chemical reactions occurring in the batteries. But before that we make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification on. So you don't miss any videos in the future. In 1748 the first person who coined the term battery was Benjamin Franklin to describe an array of charged glass plates. In general a battery is an electric cell in which through the chemical reactions occurring inside of it that causes to generate electricity. Batteries like galvanic cells do not have salt bridge to transfer the electrons in either side. Instead they contain electrolyte. The electrolyte is an ionic solution that carries charge between the electrodes. As well as negative and positive electrodes on the either side of the battery with an electrolyte which conducts ions as separators. The electrodes are both submerged in the electrolyte which contains an acidic hydrogen with positive charge or alkaline solution which is hydroxide atom with negative charge. Car batteries can generate up to 12 volts electric current. However in small AA battery can produce 1.1V which they are mostly low drain electronic devices and gadgets. However keep in mind that these batteries are used globally for thousands of devices. Note that producing higher voltages is not always beneficial. A battery that is not rechargeable again is called primary cell. This is because they cannot store energy once they have been loose their chemical reactants. However if the battery can be recharged once it has been discharged will be called secondary batteries. This shows that once chemical reactions in the batteries has been utilized all the components in the reactants. The batteries like primary batteries does not die or there is no need to be thrown out and they can be recharged like mobile batteries. As such we can say that the reaction is reversible. Primary cells are not rechargeable it is because once the solid anode is oxidized to from ions in solution and starts to break down and because the circuit needs anode to continue its generation, eventually the battery dies, that is why the primary cells are used for low current voltages and for small devices, alkaline batteries. Alkaline batteries are the most useful battery that is used globally up to date. Thomas Alva Edison in 1901 was first person who invented alkaline storage battery. He used iron at the anode and nickel oxide at the cathode. Currently the most used alkaline batteries are AA and AAA batteries. They are also called zinc carbon galvanic cell. As you can see in this diagram that an alkaline battery structure contains zinc as anode electrode and manganese dioxide with graphite as cathode electrode with potassium hydroxide as electrolyte. As you can see that separator is between the two electrodes. This shows that it prevents them to react with each other spontaneously. This type of batteries only generate 1.5 volts and cannot produce more than that over the time. As it starts to lose its ability to restore energy and the reactants contained within the cell are consumed in the reaction. The chemical reaction that occurs in the battery are including in the following equation. First zinc powder at the anode reacts with hydroxide ion in the electrolyte to produce zinc hydroxide and two electrons. The two electrons shows that it generates current. On the other side at the cathode manganese dioxide uses two electrons as it reacts with water in the electrolyte to form manganese oxide hydroxide and hydroxide ion. Here is shown the overall reaction equation for an Button cells. As you can see that button cells are much smaller in size in compared to alkaline batteries. As such they are made for small portable electronics devices that need small electrical devices such as wristwatches and pocket calculators. However they produce same amount of voltage as alkaline batteries. In some cases button cells generate much higher voltages. The anode and the electrolyte in this batteries are same as alkaline batteries. They also use zinc as anode. Potassium hydroxide as electrolytes. However instead of manganese dioxide at the cathode they use a mixture of silver oxide and graphite. Unlike the alkaline batteries when zinc and hydroxide ion reacts with each other they produce. Zinc oxide and water and two electrons. Here is the chemical equation shown the reaction at the cathode and the overall reaction equation for this type of button cells. Unlike their appearances these button cells are more stable and have the ability to generate currents that are much higher than alkaline batteries over a long period of time. Fuel cells. These cells were introduced back in 1839 by William Robert Grove which used inert electrodes that were hydrogen and oxygen which generates electrons much more stable and has a constant supply of reactants which will not break down. As we have shown in the past that the electrodes were used in the batteries were solid which over the time block out the flow of the charge through the cell. However in fuel cell both reactant and products are gaseous liquid or aqueous. As such it will not block out the flow of electrons or charge through the cells. 
therefore they can produce a stable electrical energy. As such this fuel cell's idea was introduced to make the alkaline fuel cell, which are called hydrogen-oxygen fuel cells as well. The electrolyte used is potassium hydroxide. The electrodes are made up of porous carbon, increasing the surface area for interacting the electrodes with the reactant. As the hydrogen and oxygen pumps into the cells, it contacts with the surface of the electrodes. As such at the anode as the diagram shows hydrogen reacts with hydroxide to produce water and two electrons charge. Then the water produced reacts with oxygen and consumes four electrons to produce hydroxide at the cathode. Based on the temperature of fuel cell the product of it changes its phase from water to gaseous state. Keep in mind that the concentration of hydroxide in the electrolyte remains constant. As it is being consumed at the anode. However it will be conducted at the cathode. Keeping its concentration in balance to continue its chemical reactions. Note that hydrogen is one of the highly and most explosive gas. This makes it harder to use this fuel cells in industry and further purposes. Here is shown the chemical equations of reactions occurs in alkaline fuel cells. Is the lesson for today. I hope you have learned something new today with us. Thank you for watching my video.